What's up guys, this video is going to be all about KNN versus K-Means. I'm going to go through the details here, the difference between the algorithms so you can nail your machine learning interview. This is a series of like, going to upload like 30 videos with common questions for machine learning interviews. So stay, stay subscribed so you get updated on those so you don't miss out on a question when you actually get to that interview. So guys, let's get going. So first of all, we have the KNN, it's the K nearest and neighbors algorithm. And it is a lot what it sounds like. We are going to predict something, either classification or regression by looking at the nearest neighbors. So let's have a look at this little uh, figure here. So we want to do something with the green dot. Let's say we want to do a classification here. If we're going to do a K nearest neighbor algorithm for classification, let's look at the three nearest neighbors for the sake of it. With the three nearest neighbors, it's the blue dot here, the blue square, and the two red triangles here. You can see the circle conveys the three closest neighbors here. If we're gonna do a classification here with the three nearest neighbors, it's obvious that we are going to take the majority void of our nearest neighbors. In this case, it's going to be a red class. So the green dot here, uh, green circle, that we are wondering what class it is, we're looking at the three nearest neighbors and majority void is red. So this is gonna be a red triangle as well. If we look at the five nearest neighbors, we're gonna see that we have a majority void of blue, right? It's three blue squares and two red triangles. So that's gonna be a blue square for us. So with the five nearest neighbor algorithm here for classification, our green dot is going to be blue. If we do this for regression, we look at the average of the K nearest neighbors, three, five, one, three, three, seven, whatever number you choose. And we're gonna take the average of those nearest neighbors to do the regression for us. Uh, so this is a very non-parametric and lazy way to either do classification or regression and it's vastly different from the k-means clustering that we're gonna look at now. So hopefully you now understand KNN. If you do that, just hit the like button so more people actually get to know that as well, guys. I really encourage you to do that so we share this knowledge with others. And now let's look at k-means clustering. So before we look at the animation down here, uh, let's just talk about the theory a bit so it makes more sense I will look at the graph and animation. I know you want to look at the animation guys, but you know, we gotta go through theory, math first. So basically K-means clustering is uh, to do some kind of a cluster analysis. And basically you have a data set of a lot of values and you want to find some clusters in these. And if we have K to three, that wanna do three means clustering, we wanna find three clusters. Five means clustering, five clusters. So K just as with the K nearest neighbors, just you know, the number of things we want to do, right? In this case, clusters. And this is called vector quantization. So basically we want to take all the data sets in our, in our uh, little feature space here, and we want to do some kind of quantization to put it in sectors, you can say. So basically what we do is that we want to partition our observations into K clusters. How do we do that? Well, first of all, we initialize K means, just we randomize K values to be in our input space here or our vector space, uh, actually vector space. And so we put these K means in different random values. Then we take all the data points we have and we assign them to the closest mean that we have. So first we initialize them with a random value. Then we assign every point to the closest mean. Then we upload the position of that mean with the centroid of all the different data points that got assigned to that very mean. So let's say you have uh, a, a mean there and we assign five points to it, then we take the centroid of all the five points. That is the average value in all the different uh, dimensions we have here. And we update the mean there. So the mean is gonna move all the time to, to better find clusters. And then we do that over and over again until we have some kind of convergence. So now guys, let's look at the animation. It's probably gonna make a lot of sense. Now it's right in the middle here. So let's wait till it starts over. You can see now it's updating. It's three different means. This is three means clustering here. Uh, and so first the means are all random. We assign the means here. They update their value all the time with the centroid of the assigned points. And we can see that they better find some kind of cluster. So let's look at that once again so it makes more sense. So up here, you're gonna see the means being randomly initialized here. And then you can see that the closest points to the closest mean are assigned to that very mean. And then we update the mean value with the centroid uh, of all the assigned points all the time. That's where our means are moving. So we can see uh, KNN and K-means clustering, two vastly different algorithms they use in a vastly different way. But I hope it makes more sense now. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna upload about 
40 videos on common machine learning interview questions to so actually nail that job interview. I'm gonna upload it as a UPI notebook so you can you know, check them out. So stay subscribed. If you aren't subscribed already, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell right next to it so you get notified when I upload new videos like this so you actually can nail your machine learning job interview. You don't wanna miss out on that job, so make sure to not miss any questions here. I'll upload all of the most common ones. So guys, stay subscribed so you actually, you know, stay tuned with this. I, I want you to have that job. You know? And uh, yeah, hit the like button as well so more people can see this. We want more people to get started in machine learning, right? We don't want to take the job for ourselves and not share anything with us. So hit the like button so more people see this video. And guys, stay tuned. More videos are coming. If you need any help, just drop the you know comment down here on the video. Uh, you go into the description. You can see the invite to our Slack channel. You can talk to me there if you have a very specific questions. If I have time over, I'll make sure to answer those as well. But until next video with more knowledge for your machine learning interview, have a good one and I'll talk to you soon again.